Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Mackenzie. I make all kinds of videos. I make beauty videos, I make lifestyle videos, um, I vlog, I make foodie videos. But today is going to be all about engagement. All about my engagement session. All about weddings and bridal fun because I know that right now a lot of y'all are probably close to getting engaged. Y'all have already gotten engaged. And there's just a lot to do. There's a lot on your checklist. There's a lot that needs to be done. And I know if you're the same as me, engagement pictures were at the top of my list. I was so excited to take them. I was so excited to go shopping for my pictures. Um, I am kind of going to break this video down into four different segments. So I'm going to talk about makeup, hair, skincare, and outfit. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first, we are going to talk about makeup. Um, I have been using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, this is in the color ivory and it looks the packaging looks a little like this. Um, it comes in a pump. Um, and what I have to say about this coverage is that it is medium to full coverage and it does not feel cakey at all. It looks super natural. It doesn't, um, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look heavy. Um, it photographs really well. I'm actually wearing it, um, on my skin right now. So this is kind of the look that it gives. Um, it's kind of matte, but it's not... It's not super matte, but it's not super glowy at the same time. So I thought that it was the perfect coverage um, for my engagement session, and it lasted from... I probably started getting ready at 7.30 in the morning, and then we finished at about 12.30. Um, and my makeup still looked great even after we were finished with our engagement pictures. So um, I would highly, 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 highly recommend this foundation. Um, it has been amazing. I've been using it since Christmas, and I still have um, like a, a good amount left. For my pictures, I wanted something that was natural but was fun. So I kind of tried to recreate the look um, that I wore in my engagement pictures for today so that you all could kind of see what it looks like on camera and what it looks like um, when it's photographed. For the rest of my face, I use this palette right here. This is the Tarte Holiday 2016 Collection. You get all these colors, and they're beautiful, and you get a blush, a highlight, and two bronzers. So there's a bronzer that has a shimmer in it, and then just a matte bronzer. And then you also get um, a mascara, an eyeliner, and then a lip paint. So I went super on my eye, super simple on my eyes, if you can't tell. Um, I just did this dark purpley brown color right here, and this kind of metallic-y color here and then this highlight color here and that's I mean that's really all I did I wanted to keep it super simple I didn't want you know like a, a super dramatic smoky eye or anything too intense and then I just threw on a really um, simple black eyeliner and I wanted it just to be clean I wanted it to you know kind of be something that people would see me wearing every day because I didn't want people to see my engagement pictures and think wow, she really went all out for this. No, I wanted it to be natural and I wanted it to be fun and I wanted it to be true to myself and true to who I was. I used the blush, I used the highlight, and I used both of these bronzers. I'll contour with the matte bronzer and then kind of like where I put my highlight, I'll put the more um, shimmery bronzer and then I'll put my highlight on top of it just to give it like an added glow and just added dimension. And then the lipstick that I'm wearing, I don't have it in front of me. Um, it is just the NYX um, matte lipsticks and I think it's in, I'm not sure what, what color it is, but I'll link it down below. And I absolutely love this stuff. I mean, it stayed on the whole session and I thought that it was just um, a fun pop of color. Moving on to hair. Um, if y'all watch my video on how I curl my hair, I kind of did the same thing. Instead, I just used a wand. And the wand that I used was the Babyless wand. It's the wand that I talked about in my previous video. I don't have it with me because I borrowed it from a friend, but it just created like a um, 
beachy wave instead of like a, a ringlet curl. And I'll also link some photos of my engagement session in here. Um, every time I curl my hair, I use two products. So after I'm done curling my hair, I spray my hair with um, a dry texturizing spray. And this is the Orbe dry texturizing spray. I am just like stumbling over my words today, as usual. In addition to the dry texturizing spray, I use this Dove um, Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo and I just kind of spray it out all over just to add some texture. It's not necessarily because my hair is dirty, I just want it to look full. And so I'll, pray, I'll spray this on my ends, I'll spray it in my scalp, I kind of just spray it everywhere I spread the dry texture. These two just work really well together hand in hand. Moving on, skincare. This isn't kind of like, oh, you want to moisturize before you go to bed. Of course you want to do all that. You want to you want to put lotion on. You want to moisturize. But what I'm talking about is my self-tanner. So I don't tan in a tanning bed. I used to whenever I was in high school. Don't do it, girls. Don't do it. It is not worth it. Um, you can have beautiful skin without tanning in a tanning bed. I have turned to self-tanners because I don't want to be pale. I mean, obviously, so I wanted um, my skin to be tanned and I wanted um, just to look bronze and to look beautiful. I mean, not that you can look beautiful without a tan. So the self-tanner that I use is this um, Saint Marie. I don't know if it's Saint Maurice, Saint Marie, but you can get this from Ulta. I'm pretty sure I've seen it at Walmart, I've seen it at Target, um, but I get mine from Ulta. And the, I use the color dark, and I will apply this all over my skin with um, like a mitt. I don't put it directly on my skin because then it looks weird. Like it turns your hands orange, and you don't want orange hands. And this is actually, I applied this um, self-tanner last, earlier this week, so I think on Monday, and it's Thursday. Yeah. And this is, I mean, this is what it looks like. It's just like a very natural tan. I don't think that I look orange. Um, I've used other self-tanners before, and I look orange after using them. I absolutely love this stuff. It is so inexpensive. Um, it lasts for a really long time. I would highly recommend this. Okay, so now that we've covered hair and makeup and self-tan, I am going to move into the outfits that I wore for my session. So starting with the first look, um, Matt and I just wanted to be super comfortable. We wanted to be casual. Um, we are adventurous people. We're laid back people. We love to go out to eat. We love to hike. We love to just kind of hang out. Um, and so we wanted our pictures to reflect all of those different sides of us. I went shopping for my session and I stumbled upon this sweater and I saw it in the store and I was like, Okay, that's kind of weird, but at the same time, that is so me. So it um, is this fringy sweater. There's fringe on the back, there's fringe on the front, there's fringe on the sides. I mean, this sweater is just covered with fringe. The comfiest sweater, it is so warm, it's so soft, it's so cozy, and I just thought that it was so fun. I got this sweater from a boutique in Arkansas. So I, if I can find this sweater online, I will link it down below. If not, I will. Oh, There's all this fuzz flying around now. If I can't find this sweater um, online, then I will link the boutique down below. So the pair of shoes that I wore pretty much all day during that session um, are the shoes that I wear all the time. Like every single day. If I'm going out, if I'm going to church, if I have on a casual outfit but I kind of want to dress it up, it is the... Chinese laundry Kelso booty and y'all you need to get these shoes they are so cute so comfortable doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a heel whenever I have them on um they're kind of like a western look if you can't tell and then the heel is completely out and I just think that I think that they're so cute and I they look great with everything okay moving on to our second outfit um, we wanted to kind of dress things up but then still be casual all at the same time so I went with this ivory dress um, this is from the brand waif it is super cute it's super comfortable it has like these little lace um, details 
like that all throughout the dress and it is a little it is see-through I mean this lace is see-through um, all the way down to the middle of the dress so I just wore like um, like a white ivory bralette underneath and you couldn't even tell well and I love the sleeves the sleeves are probably my favorite part of the dress because it has that lace detailing in the middle of the sleeve and they're like a little bell sleeve so super cute super fun um, I will link all these outfits pieces down below. Okay, moving on to the last outfit of our session, which was probably my favorite outfit. It was so different. It was so fun. We were in such a cool location that they're my favorite pictures from the entire session. I had to get like that one piece that just popped and that just um, really stood out and really was different from anything else. I've been looking high and low for a pleated maxi skirt. Amazon had this skirt and like it is just it is so cute it's so it goes with a lot of different stuff the brand is Rom we I think that's how you pronounce it um, it's a pleated maxi skirt it's it's pretty it's pretty long I had to wear heels with it so that it didn't drag on the floor but I wore this skirt and then I paired it with this gold fun sequin top from Express. It is kind of like um, a crop top and so it hit perfectly where the skirt naturally hit my waist um, and I just tucked it in a little bit just so it didn't so it I still had shape so I still had a shape. This top is really fun and then the back is kind of lower so that outfit was so much fun and then Matt wore a blazer with a white button down and then jeans and his cowboy boots because he still wanted to be casual, but he wanted to be a little bit dressier, but we didn't want it to be like, oh, he's wearing a tux, I'm wearing a dress. Like, we didn't want it to be that serious. Um, some advice that I would just give to y'all if you are planning an engagement session, just have fun, be yourself, be comfortable, wear things that reflect you and your fiance's personalities. Um, this is your time. This is, this is a time that is celebrating the love that you two have, and so just be have fun with it and be yourself and um, just, you know, really let others see the, the love that the two of you have. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, this was such a fun video for me to make. I am so passionate about weddings. I love it. I work for a wedding planner, so it's what I do um, for my job every single day, day in and day out. If I'm not planning someone else's wedding, now I'm planning my own, and it's just, I love it. It is so much fun. And I will catch you all later in the next video. Bye!